Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna try to reunite the Spain once again as King Sancho II and after that we're gonna try to create Empire of Spain here. So let's not waste any time and jump into the game. First thing first I need to marry and this woman is pretty good. She has all of this land, she has 3000 men and she can be a powerful ally for us. And of course I will go into the interior because I need to murder some of my brothers. All of my brothers actually. I have two brothers and I will try to murder this one. 95% chance if I succeed I can get all of his lands. Okay now I'm gonna declare war on my cousin because I don't wanna waste any time. Let's call my wife into the war. Of course, who pays for their own wedding? It seems my cousin got an ally, King Harold II, but he's already fighting to kill him in war, so he's not gonna bother us. And yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. Okay, my ally is coming now, I'm gonna try to catch this guy. Okay, 95% chance to kill my brother. And here we go! I'm gonna give away this little county to my marshal because he's pretty solid, he likes me as well, and he has trusting, so who better than this guy? Let's try to murder this brother as well and get all of his lands. Does your ambition have no limits? 87% chance and I invited this guy as well, he's a spy master. Let's name my son after my brother that I murdered. Okay, here we go, 95% to kill my brother. And now I have this kingdom and all of these beautiful lands as well. I'm gonna give away this third land to my son because I'm above my domain limit, so yeah. Now that I'm pretty strong, I'm gonna declare on my cousin and get this last county. There we go. Nice. Now as you can see we have all of this land that required to unite the Spanish thrones and we only need to reach high medieval era and get high current authority. Wait, my sister is trying to romance me? Oh my god, it's disgusting, come on. Okay guys, currently I'm just waiting to increase my level of devotion because I want to declare war on these weaker neighbors around me, holy war for duchy and for that I need to increase my level of devotion. So for that we're gonna go for a, go on a pilgrimage to get some piety. Oh my god, look at the price. Mm, yeah, that's good. It seems we need to spend more money because we are lost. I got 250 piety and I will gain 2% piety per night uh, for 10 years which is pretty good so let's declare on this guy and he is really weak so let's do that rise my army here okay we won this far pretty easily so let's enforce our demands and we got this beautiful duchy as well Okay guys, let's declare on this guy, considering that he is pretty weak, so why not?
Okay, here we go, and we've won this war. Let's enforce our demands, and we have this touch here. Okay, it seems my wife called me to a war, and she wants to depart from Holy Roman Empire. And of course, I'm gonna accept, but I honestly don't know that we can be in this war or what. Let's look at the numbers, and numbers looks pretty good. Look at the numbers now, it's even. Okay, here we go. Another faction created against me. Oh my god, a lot of factions. Okay, they are coming down and I don't know if they're gonna attack us or what. It doesn't seem they're gonna attack us because we have Mormons. But I'm gonna attack them. Oh my god, please help me. I'm dying. Okay. Oh my god, they're they're coming. Okay. Oh my god, it was kind of scary. Okay, I'm gonna uh, siege this to castle. Look at this guy. Okay, guys, I think now I'm gonna switch back to the marshal because. We're gonna fight a lot of wars in our first life, so it's gonna be for the best to switch back to the marshal and get some of these perks. It seems my cousin tried to murder me, so instead of him, I'm gonna murder him. And yeah. Eight years and I cannot invite anybody. I think I'm gonna cancel this. I don't know. I will wait a little bit. And here we go! We won and my wife is independent right now. I honestly thought that we couldn't win this war. By the way guys, because my character is wrathful, uh, we have this cool option that we can punish criminal. That basically means we will challenge them to a duel and if we win we can execute them. But because he is my cousin, I will gain the trait Kinslayer. So I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm gonna imprison him. I'm, I know he's not gonna accept. But we're gonna fight him and hopefully we can win this war. Yeah, 3000. He tried to murder me, so I'm not gonna let him to get away from this. I split my army, some of them are sitting here, and I sent this army to kill this guy. Oh, I won! Okay. Let's enforce our demands and I'm gonna imprison him. So now I'm gonna revoke all of his titles. And because he's a criminal, I'm not gonna gain any tyranny. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So now I decide the holy war for this touchy. This guy is not very strong, so I'm gonna do that. Now here we go. Force our demands. Now we have these counties as well. Only four years until we search this, then I can increase my current authority. And then we only need to reach high medieval era to unite the Spanish throne. But now I think I'm just gonna declare war on these weaker neighbors to get their lands because we need all of this land to create our empire. So it seems we have a peasant army and they want freedom, so let's see how big they are. Four thousand, okay. I will finish this war and I will go to deal with them. Okay, here we go. We can enforce our demands and let's do this. I'm gonna desert my second son, but I will give him some land down here. I will give him this two land. And I hope he forgives me for that. So now just let's expand our territory to the south. I'm gonna declare war on this guy 
and holy war for this county for this duchy and just like that after some sieging we managed to win this war now that i researched this i can increase my current authority and i'm gonna do that i cannot okay i need to wait until 1088 only one year it's gonna be okay and as you can see we will reach the high medieval in 13 years so now as i said i'm just gonna declare we're on these bigger neighbors of oh, this guy is not that big yeah he has some allies Okay, we have another peasant army. They have around 5,000 troops, but they are only levies, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And we can enforce our demands. There we go. So now I'm gonna deal with this peasant army. We got five county from this single duchy. Okay, here we go look at this 66 advantage in my favor yeah the peasant army is always weak now finally i can increase my current authority of course i'm gonna execute the leader of the peasant army i can ask pope for gold so let's do that two hours later just a quick update for you guys as you can see we are now making 18 gold per month and we almost have 9000 soldiers and I declared on some of my weak neighbors down here and I got their county and I'm planning to declare on this guy right now so let's do that and we are expanding our territory to the south but this Muslim kingdom really scares me because they are strong and they have strong allies but they are not as strong as me so it's not going to be a problem and we have a peasant faction again I'm just going to split off my army and deal with this peasant faction So I deal with this peasant faction and here we go. Oh, we have another peasant faction, bro, stop. Stop it. Get some help. And they almost have 8,000. Holy shit. Muslims really aren't happy with me. Okay, I managed to win this war. And we got this county. And now let's just deal with this peasant faction. These peasant factions are so annoying. Oh my god, look at this county. I want to give away this county, but as soon as I saw the buildings, I'm not gonna give away this county. The development is 28 and it has farmlands. So I'm gonna keep this county for myself. It's pretty good. Okay, we died and now we are playing as my son. We had a great life with King Sancho, so let's see what's gonna happen to my son. First, I need to give away some of my lands and I will choose the Swordship Lifestyle. Okay, now we have access to Crusade. And I'm currently just fighting here. Look at this, we have a big library faction going on and we need to prepare for this. Okay, it seems we have a crusade going on and maybe I join later, but I'm not gonna join now because I have my own wars. Since finally the library faction sent their demands, of course I'm gonna fight them. Oh, 10,000? Wow. I will call my mother, my ally, my mother. And I'm gonna white piece this war because I cannot fight in two sides. So let's offer them white piece. And I will raise my army here. 
and if I can catch them when they are departed, it's gonna help us a lot. So it seems the crusade begins, and I'm gonna give them some gold. Just they expect me to do something, right? Okay, we got some of them there. Now I can white piss this, but I'm not gonna do that if I get into the battle that I cannot win. Then I'm gonna white piss, but not now. Okay, here we go, and finally, after how long? Four years? Have we managed to win this war? Now let's enforce our demands. Here we go, and we imprison all of them. And it seems we won the crusade as well. Guys, I see I'm gonna ransom all of them, but if I see someone doesn't like me, I'm gonna rebook their lands and give it to somebody else. So yeah. I got a lot of gold after ransoming all of them. Guys, I can choose a legacy and I don't know why my dynasty went to the glory, but I will get this because it will give us 25% personal skin power, which is very good, so I'm gonna get this. Only 5 months until High Medieval Era. And finally now we can unite the Spanish thrones. So let's do that. And here we go. We got a nickname. The father of Spain. Which is pretty good. Pretty cool. And as you can see, let me show you. And now we united the Spain, so I'm gonna change uh, my kingdom name. So I'm gonna name it Spain. And I'm gonna change adjective to Spanish, of course. There we go. Now my main goal is to form Empire of Hispania. And we got absolute current authority as well, which means my vassal is gonna pay me more money and give me more levies. And they're not gonna like me a lot, so. Right now, I'm just gonna declare on these weaker neighbors. I need 7 county, 6 county for forming my empire. So let's declare on this guy. This guy is pretty weak. This guy as well. And this guy. Look at how much gold I'm gonna get from this. Okay, I'm gonna send one of my armies here. One here and other down here. Okay, here we go. We won this war. We won this war as well. Look at this, we are getting 9.3 gold from only this single Bernie and this building here is giving me 3 gold and a lot of cool bonuses as well. I might just move my capital to this county because it's pretty good. Look at the development. By the way guys, if my mother die, I will inherit all of her lands, which is kind of funny to have some lands all the way in Italy. Finally, I have enough counties to create Empire of Hispania. I just need 1000 gold, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay, my mother died and I got all of her lands and all of her golds. She had a lot of golds, now I'm gonna create my empire, finally. Create title. And here we go, we are a mighty emperor. Okay, now I'm gonna give away some of my lands in Italy, but I'm gonna hold uh, three county for myself. I can offer vassalage for this guy for low feudal obligations, so I'm gonna do that. And this guy is my vassal. Now I'm just gonna declare on this guy 
for seizing this duchy and I'm going to declare war on this guy for seizing this duchy my army is right but I'm still making 40 gold per month which is kind of funny we deal with this so let's import our demands we managed to unify Hispania but there is still two counties that I need to get but I have a truce with this guy so I have to wait a little and as you can see my vassals are converting face in their county I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here so if you enjoyed please make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel take care of yourself and I hope to see you in the next one